Hey, you guys. Okay, so if you didn't know, which you probably don't because I haven't really gotten a chance to uh, talk about Keanu much here on my channel, but if you didn't know, Keanu Reeves is one of my absolute favorite people in the world, okay? Not just my favorite actor, not just my favorite hot boy or... Um, for any of those reasons, okay? He's all of those things, don't get me wrong. But he's one of my actual favorite people. And I know you're thinking, how is that when you don't even know the dude? Not in real life, right? Okay, there's a lot I could say about Keanu, but I'm gonna put that together at another time. This is not gonna be a Keanu Reeves life story video. I've got a lot planned though, okay? I've studied his life for many, many years. In fact, I was 11 years old when I first ran across Keanu Reeves. I was watching my parents' cable television back then with the old, you guys remember the old flip boxes? The old brown cable boxes where you had to push the buttons down and then you had to move the little tuner thing to get the channels you wanted. And I ran across a movie called The Prince of Pennsylvania. I'll never forget. And that is the first time I laid eyes on the angelic, miraculous Keanu Reeves, okay? Around the same time he was filming The River's Edge and then The Prince of Pennsylvania came later. I think River's Edge was first, like in 86. Prince of, Pen Prince of Pennsylvania was before the Bill and Ted era, right before. I didn't really like Bill and Ted. I loved the films as a kid and growing up, but I didn't really like, that's not what made me fall for Keanu. That character, I didn't really care for his character of Ted, um, but it was the character he played in The Prince of Pennsylvania. I'll probably devote a whole video at some point just to that film and his character in that film. So that's what first kind of attracted me to him. I was an 11 year old girl of course, he looked like a teenager when he was 25. He was already 25 years old when playing in Bill and Ted and stuff like that in the early days, you know, but they were using older 20-somethings to play teenage parts. So anyway, I'm an 11-year-old girl going on 12, and I run across this boy in this film, and he's got the shaved head on the side, you know, the style at the time. We Gen Xers, we know about that growing up in the 80s head was shaved on the side and it was long over here on this side in that film and in Parenthood I believe he had it that way and just his whole aura okay it at first it was the character Rupert Everett not Rupert Everett that's an actor Rupert Marchetta that was his character okay and I'll do a video about it at some time he played the, the son of a couple and there was some family drama going on. It was just one of those kind of shows, okay? He ends up kidnapping his father for ransom and all this crazy stuff. But in that film, it was just his aura, the character. I did fall for the character at first. Just those baggy clothes, the combat boots, the hair, the way he kept running away from home. Really, I bonded to this character because of who I was, because of my family situation. And it was just before I too started running away from home, okay? So I really bonded to his character. I really related to him in a lot of ways. And of course, I fell all over myself as a young girl for his fantastic, gorgeous looks. Just beautiful, right? And so funny in the end of that movie, I related so much to his determination. In fact, I've got pictures of that somewhere on my Facebook and my Facebook albums. My, one of my favorite stills from the film, Prince of Pennsylvania, is Keanu Reeves walking down the freaking highway with a refrigerator door handcuffed to his arm. He was that determined to run away from home. They handcuffed him to the refrigerator door and he took the whole damn door off and got away in the middle of the night. And it just, it, I just bonded to that character. I related to it so much. Because I did the same damn thing. I didn't take the whole door off. I wasn't that talented. But I grew up in a very bad situation. 
and my father as well chained me and padlocked me into my bedroom because they couldn't keep me at home. I was continually going out the window and going out the back door in the middle of the night. And so, yes, I related so much. So I just wanted to give you a little background and a little context into how I first got into Keanu, where I first laid eyes on him, the first impressions I got of him. I was that young. That was the character that I kind of related and bonded to. But of course, as time went on and I started to grow up, it didn't take me long. I was, I was, I was very mature for my age back then, okay? And it didn't take me long. Of course, I realized that that is a character, that that is that, not that guy in real life. And that's a character that I'm bonding to, but I liked him so much. There was something else about the energy of Keanu Reeves. Even back then, I knew it, okay? Even though it would be a long time, uh, you know, for me to continue growing and going through all kinds of changes in life and getting into my spiritual studies and, you know, growing and evolving in that way myself. But even back then, okay, even as a kid, I had this very strong intuition about others. Even if I didn't know them, I could pick up on their energy. Even if I didn't know them in real life or personal life, and there was something about that dude's energy. I could tell it even back then. There was something very, very special about his heart. There was something very otherworldly, very almost angelic about that guy. I knew even back then at 11 and 12 years old that that dude, he just, there was something different about him. He just wasn't like every other dude and he just wasn't like, you know, everybody else in the world. I think he's really one of those tiny percentages of truly pure almost earth angel types on this earth with so much empathy and compassion. And no matter what happens to them, he's one of those types. He's one of those people who have that self-healing ability that no matter what happens to them, they choose. And it's not to judge the people who go the other direction because believe me, I've made a lot of choices in my life I wasn't proud of. I've gone through a lot of tough things that I wish I hadn't had. I've been close to a lot of people who go down that dark, twisted, other, chaotic, self-destructive, fucked up path in life that become heavily addicted. I mean, that's all I've ever been around all my life. It is no judgment to people who take those paths, but I highly admire people who try not to, you know, who can take a lot of their pain, even if they make mistakes along the way, who can, for the most part, they are determined to take all of their pain and not destroy themselves with it and not destroy others with it, not remain bitter with it, not seek vengeance with it, but continue to heal inside and turn that into light and love and compassion and empathy and continue going on in the world and doing good things and healing and showing that compassion to others. And that is what Keanu has done. Now, I know these days, oh my God, you know, he's a list. He's been, you know, films for years and years and years with the Matrix franchise and then the John Wick franchise. And Constantine is another one of my absolute favorites that he's done. Point Break, another one. People think that's just cops and robbers. It's not. That is a deeply spiritual film. Um, oh, I could just go on and on about Keanu. I know he means a lot to a lot of people nowadays. It's like, oh, I just get lost in the shuffle. You know, everybody that loves him probably feels like, oh, you know, that's my little, that's my relationship. With, you know, whatever. But I'm just remembering where it started and how much he meant to me. And it's been that way all of my life. There has never been another actor. If people were to ask me, oh, who's your favorite actor? Or I admire many actors work. Keanu, in my opinion, is not a great actor. I've never, okay, sorry, sue me, whatever. I have never really thought that his acting ability was that great. I'm sorry, Keanu. Um, I think he's great at what he does in certain films, okay? His, when he plays a cop, like in Speed, like in Point Break, um, and when he, his action films, 
the best, okay? The Matrix, John Wick, John Constantine, honey, honey, honey. And those films, each one of them means something very deep to me, you know? I really dig deep and get into the different elements of things. And so, don't get me wrong. Yes, I think he is fantastic at what he does in those roles. But when he steps outside of those roles and he tries to do other things like comedies and other types of acting, I really didn't care for it. I didn't care for him in Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Not at all. Like at all. Like I almost wish he hadn't been in it. I was so in love with Gary Oldman though. I was so in love with the Dracula character and, um, and Mina and the whole love story between them. And I was just like, Jonathan who? Jonathan Bark, Jonathan Keanu who? It, it, get out. It was almost like it wasn't him. So, okay, call me weird, whatever. I didn't like him in that role. And so in certain roles, he just seems kind of dorky and I don't know. I don't know even how to describe it, but that, keep that in mind for when we come full circle with this video, okay? Because we're going to get into the Virgo personality. Not that astrology rules everything, because it doesn't, but it has some effect on people's personalities, the alignment and, you know, whatever they were born under. I, myself, am a Virgo, and I absolutely adore Virgo men. Keanu Reeves is a Virgo, being born on September 2nd, 1964. That is the day after my beloved partner, who passed away last year, also a Virgo, um, born September 1. Okay. So keep that in mind for later in the video about the, that personality type. There's something about the male Virgos that I see patterns in. Okay. And I absolutely adore Virgo males, but that whole kind of dorky, kind of standoffish when it comes to certain things, kind of on the shy side, but don't ever let that fool you. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind for when we get into later in the video. Bottom line is, I love Keanu Reeves. It started way back when I was a child, and it's been that way all throughout my life. It has never changed. Even though what I've said about his acting, I like him in certain roles. Um, yes, there are many, many, many actors that I admire just for their acting and think they are superb actors. But if people were to ask me out of all Hollywood, out of all the heartthrobs, and believe me, there are many fine-ass, attractive men in Hollywood. There are many fine actors, many fine musicians. But if people were to ask me out of all of the famous men in the world, out of all the actors and musicians and, you know, gorgeousness, I'm talking up there with Johnny Depp and, you know, there's some beautiful ones out there. And don't get me wrong, I've had celebrity crushes on different dudes. I've admired different dudes in different roles over the years. But boy, when it comes down to it, everybody who's ever known me has always known that Keanu Reeves is my heart. And it is not for superficial reasons. It never was, even when I was a kid. It's about his soul. It's about what I can sense in that dude's energy. The authentic, empathic, self-aware, compassionate, down-to-earth soul that that dude is, that I can sense on him, that I always have ever since I ran into him when I was 11 years old in that first movie, that first role. And yes, his otherworldly, beautiful, um, beautiful mix, ethnic, good looks. Oh my God. Yes, that factors in. He is a beautiful, beautiful man. And I don't have a type. I never have. I have married and dated different types of dudes from different heights to different weights, to different colorings, eyes, hair, skin, ethnicities. Um, I don't, I've never really had a type. Now I've gone through phases with types, but I've never really had a type. When I just fell in love, I couldn't help what I fell in love with. And that's just the way it was. But if I did, you know, and usually I would end up really, really falling in love with, you know, I dated 
quite a few people in my lifetime, married twice, divorced twice, and was engaged again, but my partner passed away last year. Um, but when it comes down to it, it, it always ended up being green eyed guys, okay, with brown hair. Like my first, my children's father, my husband, green eyes. Um, another guy that I dated very seriously off and on for about 10 years, green eyes, red hair. Um, and then my, my partner who passed away recently, green eyes and brown hair, gorgeous, gorgeous man. But so, so you get what I'm saying. But if you were to ask me kind of what, you know, I would go towards if I did have a type, it would be, yes, those dark eyed, dark, dark eyed, dark haired dudes. They are fine. Just, hmm. I'm sorry, I was just, you know. So if I did have a type, that would kind of be that. But at the same time, I have never stuck to anything like that. I've had crushes, you know. When it came to falling in love and my heart opening and getting to know someone, didn't make a shit what they, you know. Yeah, you're attracted to people's looks, but you get what I'm saying. I never really stuck to a certain type. So now that you kind of know the backstory and a little bit of context, let's move more into the point of the video. And I just thought this would be fun, kind of a break from the usual content I do, but it does list on my channel that I love people's life stories. And, you know, this is just another part of me that I haven't gotten around to talking about yet. And I know this person is loved by many, loved by millions. Okay. And so what I want to talk about in this video is the fact that in many, many photos, okay, it's all over the internet. And it's been talked about by a lot of different people. The fact that Keanu Reeves doesn't put his hands on people when he takes photographs with them, specifically women. Okay. Now I think this is endearing. I think this is wonderful. And, you know, I just ran across photos of this recently and I noticed several photos and my immediate thought about that is that's that Virgo. Okay, now that's what people aren't discussing. Now, there has been different commentaries about it. People are saying, a one girl wrote an article, I think, and she's like, oh my God, that is just so pure. Again, keep in mind the Virgo, the sign of purity, the virgin. And again, astrology doesn't factor into everything. It's definitely gonna make a difference how you were raised, who you were influenced by, things that happen to you in your life, all that is going to factor into your zodiac sign and what you're like. But there are similar, similar characteristics in people born under certain zodiac signs and the male Virgos. I just thought to myself, that is so typical, but we'll get into that in a minute. Okay. We'll get into that part in a minute, but people are saying things like, Oh my God, that is just so sweet. That is so pure. That is so Keanu. And my first thoughts of something like that go straight to this man is emotionally intelligent, self-aware, and respectful. And I love that. And it's just, that's Keanu. I mean, that is just that dude's energy, you know? But I could see how in these photographs and how when somebody acts like that, that's so typical Virgo male too. But I'll get into that part in a minute. I can see how people, some people would jump to conclusions and assume, ugh, just another snobby star. Ugh, that's just so stuck up. Now, he must be weird. He must have some kind of OCD or some kind of problem. I can see how some people would just write that off as arrogance, being snobbish, um, having some kind of weird issues. But no, I really do think that's part of Keanu Reeves very genuine, authentic, self-aware. He's very aware of himself and how he affects and impacts other people. He doesn't want to make them uncomfortable. He doesn't want to be imposing on them. Very aware. I love that. Aware of boundaries, his own boundaries and their boundaries. That's a very respectful thing, you know? Um, and I've always liked it when people are aware of that kind of thing. I feel like he's very emotionally intelligent and respectful. And you know, there are so many people that aren't, that wouldn't think twice 
about just grabbing up on you and touching you and getting all in your damn personal space without, and to the point where it's so normal for people to do that without thinking to each other now, and it has been, to the point where you will almost be made fun of and think that something's wrong with you or that you're snobbish or you're a freak or something's wrong with you if you're actually one of those people that minds your boundaries that has self-awareness and you respect the boundaries and the personal space of others and you don't just feel free to just touch on them however you want and get all in their personal space and you are respectful of that you're very careful about that you will ask permission before you enter their personal space too closely and all of those kinds of things these days people do that shit without thinking and they actually think a lot of times there's something abnormal about a person who is that mindful and that respectful. I love it though, okay? And so people have even speculated or discussed that it may come from certain Asian cultures that he's fond of and their practices, that it may come from different types of things and it could be many different factors that make his personality that way. I want to get a little bit into my two cents on the whole thing and the male Virgo personality, okay? Because to me, that just in my opinion, that kind of factors in there. It's just so typical of the Virgo males, okay? So it could be all of those things. I don't know. But just my little contribution to it. When I found out he was a Virgo, I didn't find that out for probably for years. You know, I really wasn't into, I was into astrology and studying that kind of thing at 11, 12, 13 in my teens and my younger years. But I don't think that I found out, you know, didn't look into any of that kind of stuff that he was Virgo until much later in life. I think I was probably in my thirties. That's probably 15 or 20 years ago that I found out he was actually a Virgo. And so, you know, my little contribution to it, though, is the male Virgo personality. I am a Virgo myself, but to me, yes, we're similar to the male Virgos, but there are some differences. But there is just something about male Virgos that I just, out of the, I'm sorry, out of the entire zodiac sign. And, you know, I've never, but I don't go based on that. That's not how I've ever chosen the people I've dated that's not how I, I don't just go down a list and go up. Oh, are you Virgo? Up? Oh, are you Virgo? Of course not. I have been in love with, I have crushed on, I have been close to and had relationships with people that were not Virgo. Absolutely. And enjoyed them very much, you know, but I have to say out of everybody, those Virgos, those Virgo men's, okay. Y'all just don't know. You just don't know, but it's so typical you know, these little quirks and characteristics, the Virgo men that I have all ever been close to, like my children's father, I was married to him for seven years. I dated another guy that was, he was Leo Virgo cuss, but he was right there. And then after that, my very last partner who passed away last year, I was, we were together almost seven years and we were engaged and I would have married him. Um, and as it turned out, he was Virgo too, you know, and those weren't things that I chose up front. Um, you know, and I was shocked to find out, you know, as he and I got more deeply involved, this last partner that he was Virgo. I was absolutely shocked and life path number seven, like the name of my channel. Um, he was also a seven and I had never met another seven life path seven, uh, or been very close to one. And so Virgo males that I have been very close to. Okay. Now I can't sum them all up again. It's not going to be I identical with everyone. It will depend on their past, who they were raised by, what their influences were. Many, many things make up a personality type. Okay. It's not just Virgo, but I have noticed a pattern with Virgo males that typically they are not overtly sexual, but honey, honey, do not let that fool you. Okay. When they say Virgos are the freaks of the Zodiac sign, 
baby, they are not kidding. Okay. Okay. So they, so that is not, don't let that, don't judge Virgos by that whole, um, the virgin sign of the virgin sign of, you know, but it is the sign of purity. And there is something that I have noticed. It's in the Virgo females too. I, I know it is for me personally. There is almost like this mixed personality. We can be quite puritanical at times. We can, we, you know, a lot of us un that fall under the Virgo zodiac sign, my last partner and I, we love traditional things. There's something, there was something, most of the Virgo males that I've dated though, I've noticed there is something, yes, a bit shy. It's just under the surface. They are not what I would call overtly sexual as far as walking around grabbing their crotch and just beating their chest and just letting you know right now, mm, you so fine, I'm going to eat you up. I want some, they're not that type, but honey, honey, that is no indication of what they are like as partners, as sexual partners, as romantic partners. I have to say they're, they have a sensuality and a passion that is just under the surface. Just, and me personally, even a female Virgo, it's like, but they have this quirky kind of shy, almost kind of dorky. Um, they are very, when it comes to touching women, they don't just go to touching and just assuming they can walk up on you and touch you. And it's not that they're not good lovers. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to vouch for that. It is not that they are not sexual. <sighs> don't ever let that fool you. It is not that they are not passionate and sensual and good at what they do. And you know, most of the time experienced and they know what the fuck is up. It's just that that's not their style. It's, you know, I've seen this pattern with them in the past and even close male Virgo friends that I've had and their dating patterns and their women and, you know, talking with them. It's just, I've noticed, and I'm kind of like that too. I like to be comfortable. I, I don't, I don't like to throw out all the cars for just any old body that I'm around or, you know, casual shit most of the time. I did when I was younger, but it's that once they feel comfortable and safe with you, oh my God. Okay. It's, it's just that way. That's how they are. But, you know, reflecting back on Keanu Reeves, he fits right into that pattern of most male Virgos that I've known. They're kind of like that. They are not going to be, you know, they don't want to impose on you. They don't want to, um, they just kind of have that personality. But again, in a good and bad context, don't let that fool you because Virgo men can be manipulative as hell. Many of them can be toxic. They're not all super emotionally intelligent, super emotionally mature, super respectful. Oh, don't get me wrong. Yes, they can definitely have some toxic manipulative. They can be cheaters, even though they have those patterns of wanting to be sort of puritanical at the same time and wanting to be kind of traditional. It just depends on how they grew up, how they're wired. Okay. But the Virgo men, they are a fascinating bunch to me and I just love them. I do. Okay. And so this is kind of a simple little thing I wanted to put together. Just something quick, quirky, um, interesting to me. I am working on some other videos. Um, that will have to do with Keanu Reeves, his family, his history, um, because that's partly what my channel is about. And it doesn't always have to be negative or tragic stuff, okay? I've also been doing a lot, a lot of research. Um, the Nicole Kessinger video that I haven't gotten up yet, digging into that and getting that put together. Also, Selena Quintanilla, I want to put together a long form tribute, beautiful photograph tribute, and delve more deeply into her life history and put together that in long form. So, I've got some more stuff that I am working on, but I just wanted to do this one today. And just kind of eh, put my two cents in on that about Keanu Reeves and what people report about him, you know, and this body language that he has of being very careful not to put his hands on the women that he photographs with. And I see that as he is not only a male Virgo, but he is one who is emotionally intelligent, who is mindful 
very aware of himself and what he's doing and how he's impacting others. Very respectful of their space and their time and energy. And, you know, very on point with his boundaries. And that's just what I see. But I also see that kind of dorky, shy, non-imposing, um, traditional, the whole male Virgo vibe. Okay. But just under the surface of that is one of the most sensual, passionate, romantic lovers and people you will ever be with. I mean, that's in my experience, okay? So, that's that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in for this one. I hope you found some parts of this interesting or quirky or you got something out of it. And I'll be working on some more stuff for later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.